my name is Eric from Games of Hyper and today I want to give you an update about my menu system and specifically uh, the struggles I had with the game. I know it's been a long time since uh, I posted the video. I had some, uh, some personal things that I needed to deal with, uh, but now um, I'm back. So let's check this out. In my previous two videos, I showed you an initial uh, 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 progress with the common UI system. I think I also did a complete video about my settings menu, uh, which like this. Um, I think you did not see uh, this gamepad layout that chose to have a fixed layout for the gamepad, so you are not able to change the input settings however when i switch to my mouse so i'm moving my mouse right now you will see uh, the inputs and the inputs are have primary uh, binding and a secondary binding um you can bind two of them you can uh, reset everything to the default you can apply the changes etc but when we switch to the gamepad again it will switch to the gamepad and we have some control settings like sensitivity um, inverted axes. Um, the audio also seems to work fine. I think we have um, a higher effect on the background, so if I'm decreasing sound effects, we will also hear that the sound effects are decreasing and eventually stopping. So, yeah. Oh, of course, I made a, a dialog box, uh, like a confirmation dialog box. If you have made changes, you get the option, okay, do I want to apply these changes that I made or do I want to cancel? And there are still some things that I need to find you, like the, uh, uh, the, the buttons of the A and the B are not, uh, not on the right position. But I like it. Um, when I move to the uh, mouse again, we will see the changing. So, like, yeah. Uh, I made a small credits menu uh, it will scroll automatically and also scroll our mouse and we can press X or B to back to the screen again. And it's also good to know that the buttons that you see below, like this back button, are also work. So we can click that button. Um, let's go to the in-game um, menu where I really focused on uh, on, uh, on getting some stuff done. The loading screen that you just saw is, uh, is uh, still loading screen from Lyra. Um, I will make another one based on level streaming, but that is something for a later stage. Okay, so um, I'm now uh, playing with my gamepad and we want to have every interaction in the world also gamepad. So here you see the Pickup interactions are now switching based on if you use the game pad. No. We can press X, get up. Um, yeah, press turn on sprinklers and turn it off. Not stones. Um, but of course, we also would like open our inventory. And uh, I assigned the special uh, right button. So if we press this one, it will open in. And what we will see, we automatically focus on the first slot. And um, the first slot uh, um, is not remembered. It's remembered where we uh, left. So for instance, now I'm leaving for this specific slot. I can press the special uh, right button to close the menu. Or I can press B for the back. I will just be when I open it again, you will still here. Another thing, what is cool is um, we need a tooltip. So if you keep it on for a couple of seconds, it will open a tooltip uh, and then you can move. Another important thing uh, to make sure also my inventory system, etc., like this is gamepad compatible, is that the uh, uh, context menu or the drop down menu um, is also uh, uh, gamepad compatible. So you see it will focus on first one and we can 
drop stone and now one is dropped. And of course we also do want to unequip. Uh, so now we unequip building plan. Apply it like this. So um so yeah. Another important thing is to interact with uh, interact location. So in this case, I have a storage chest. So when we open a storage chest, what you will see is we will directly focus on the right. And because in my opinion, when you open a storage chest, you want to focus on the right. So in this case, it's not remembered where you were because uh, it's an interactable in the world. Um, however, the focus will be on the right panel. Uh, the buttons like transfer all, uh, like this one, do work. Gamepad, so that's cool, like so. Um, and we are able to open this context menu and select each one separately. Split it, and of course we can. Cool. Um, of course, campfires. Uh, campfires also have a crafting menu. Uh, in this case, we would like to uh, craft uh, this specific meat. We already have some meat here, and now it's being cooked. Um, and we can transfer that one to our own inventory. So now we have some cooked meat in our inventory. Um, yes, what else? Uh, oh. The radial menu. The radial menu was hard to get it right with the game. Um, let's equip the uh, building plan. This one. So uh, when I hold my left trigger, uh, we open the radial menu. The, the close button on the top right I will move. Um, now I can move my right uh, joystick to select an item. Uh, but to switch between the tabs, you can use the triggers like so. So let's try and place a. Let's try and place a campfire. So I selected the campfire, the building menu, uh, building mode started. I can press X uh, to place it. We can also see uh, if we go to our uh, system menu. I will redo this one, by the way. I want the settings in game to be full screen. Um, but here if we can see uh, X is for interacting and spawn. So in this case, it was the uh, spawning of a specific buildable. We added two sticks to it. Let's try and find some stone. So now two stone. Let's campfire here. And let's add. Uh, and now we have a working campfire. Um, the campfire is empty right now, so let's get some logs. Grab this one. Oh, let's also grab the meat. Oh. Um, now I'm going to transfer all logs and I'm going to transfer all the meat. This meat. I'm going to turn it on. So, and now it is on. Uh, and I'm going to draw three uh, meat. Cool. So now we build a campfire. Uh, we uh, get at the resources in the world. Um, place it via radio manual. Like this. Um, I can stop the build mode by upper left shoulder. Um, yeah, uh, I like it. Um, I think it's now fully gamepad compatible. Um, there's another thing is this uh, crafting menu. Um, uh, you see, it has a lot of slots on the line, so we need to be able to navigate through them. Um, I was not able to make an outer scroll, so if I go below, it will stop. Um, so what I need to do is I've made a scroll function with this right uh, thumbstick and now you can scroll through. You need to do that manual. 
what else? Um, the attribute system. Uh, it just fewer attributes. There are no focus points. And I'm currently working on uh, system view. I will not include any load save games. Just made some uh, some example buttons. Uh, this screen is just temporary for testing. Um, uh, when I'm going to press the settings button, uh, I want to make this a full screen one, so not uh, not this double uh, layered menu. But it works for now, uh, just for testing purposes. And we can do the main menu. Cool. Um, I think this gives a good overview on the uh, the progress As a child, menu, but also the, the game pass compatibility of all my other stuff. In the palm of my um, hand. Let's grab this weapon and we can. Um, I think uh, that's it. So my uh, the next things will be a loading screen, transition screen, startup screens, animations, uh, tweaks in uh, uh, in the UI style, especially the the, the, the context input action buttons. Uh, I think they should be uh, a bit more <coughs> clean. Not end in um, my favor. Some performance upgrades. Um, and I think then we will be near the thing. Cool. I hope you all have a nice day. Congrats. You have reached the end of this video. And of course, I hope you liked it. So please let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Uh, feel free to reach out anytime, for instance, via Discord or Patreon. And... Don't forget to check out one of the videos that I will be posting somewhere here. And of course, I hope you have a very nice day. Bye.